Hello and welcome to Simple French Cooking. My name is Francois. And today I want to teach you my new favorite gratin. It's from Richard Olney's cookbook, Simple French Cooking. I mean, this book came out 40 years ago and it's as relevant today as it was when it came out. Awesome, awesome book, highly recommend it. Um, but inside, I was, you know, I've read this book probably a million times and I came across a recipe for a chickpea and spinach gratin that I'd never seen before. And I made it the other day for my wife and we were just blown away by the flavors. So I wanna teach you guys how to make my version of Richard Olney's chickpea and spinach gratin. What I love about this chickpea and spinach gratin is it's so unique. I mean, most gratins have lots of dairy product in it. If you think about like a potato gratin, which is made with potatoes, cream, butter, cheese, or like even a uh, Swiss chard gratin, which has milk and cream and sometimes eggs in it. This one is so unique. I mean, just look at the ingredients we're using. They're saffron. There's almonds, hard-boiled eggs, espalette peppers, chickpeas, cooked tomatoes, breadcrumbs, tons of spinach. I mean, really, that's it. That's the ingredients. So I'm so excited to show this gratin to you. Let's get cooking. So after you gather all your ingredients, you're going to want to cook your chickpeas. Now, I've already cooked my chickpeas and I'll post a link to a video actually I just made about cooking chickpeas. Um, you can also use canned chickpeas if you prefer, but I really recommend taking the three seconds longer to cook your own chickpeas. Super easy and they taste so much better. After we get our chickpeas, we're gonna wanna take care of our spinach. Now, in the original recipe, I'm sure um, Richard only used full-grown spinach and then he de-stemmed it. I'm using baby spinach just because this is so easy to use and I'm not going to de-stem it. I really don't mind the little teeny stems in here. So you're going to put two quarts of water with salt, get it to boil. Now, two quarts might sound like a really small amount to blanch. Two pounds. That's these two giant containers of spinach. But trust me, spinach cooks down to almost nothing. After you drop the first box in, just push it down in the water. It will all fit in there, trust me. All right, let's get our second container in there. While the spinach is cooking, we're going to pound our almonds, saffron, espalette peppers, and a little black pepper uh, together, and then we're going to add our egg yolks to it. Now you're going to need probably about 12 almonds. I'm using Marcona almonds just because I love them. And then I'm going to add a nice big huge pinch of saffron in there. Uh, if you don't have a mortar and pestle, you could use a food processor to do this too. But I'm kind of old school and I like doing it this way. And we're just trying to get it to where basically we're making almond butter. All right, then we're gonna add a big pinch of espalette pepper and a little bit of black pepper. In. All right, now we're going to take our hard boiled eggs and right now we're just adding the egg yolks. So let's just take these apart, drop the egg yolks in there. All 
right. Let's just pound that all together. All right, that's it. Let's put that aside. Now with our egg whites, we're just gonna take a knife, just slice them. You don't have to be too perfect about this. This so is what I love about Provencal food. It's very rustic. That's its charm. So while we're finishing up the gratin, I'm reducing the spinach cooking water. So we started with two quarts and we're cooking it down to about one cup or so. And the reason we're doing this, we're concentrating the flavor. I think the, the reason Richard never threw away the spinach water and just added another liquid water or wine is that Provencal cuisine at its heart is a rustic and poor cuisine. Nothing was ever wasted and there's a lot of nutrients in that water so it was vital to keep it. So we're going to start by putting our two pounds of cooked spinach. I mean look at this what it cooked down to almost nothing. We're going to put this in the bowl. We're going to take our egg whites that we chopped. Let's put in our chickpeas. All right. And then we have about a half a cup of tomato sauce. We're going to add just a splash of olive oil. And let's give this all a good stir. I'm going to make sure it's nice and mixed up together. And I know you're probably just looking at this going, what the hell is he thinking today? It's gone nuts. Guarantee you're gonna love this. All right, and then let's add all this beautiful stuff from the mortar. Right in there. And the egg yolks, the cooked egg yolks and the almonds, it's gonna kind of bind up the liquid in here. It's gonna be awesome. Just want to make sure you mix this up really, really well. All right, our mixture is mixed up really well. We're going to oil our gratin dish. Then we're just going to pour this in here. Mm, God, this is so, so good. Let's make sure you get everything here. And now I'm going to pour my reduced spinach water over this. And then we're just gonna top this with some breadcrumbs. And you could use panko or make your own, whatever works for you. All right. There we go. Just put a little drizzle of olive oil over the top. And that's it, let's pop it in our oven for about 20, 25 minutes or until the top is nice and golden brown. Oh God, I just pulled this gratin out of the oven. I'm drooling, I wanna give it a try. Oh, look at that. It's interesting, the saffron has kind of colored everything. I'm just giving it this beautiful kind of golden aura to it. Mm. Mm. The crunchy breadcrumbs on the top. This is a delicious gratin. So unique and different from any other gratin you've ever made before. You need to give this a try. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching Simple French Cooking.